Uh, Martin, according to NIAC, this is the best, the safest and the fastest system to vaccinate the population. How can anyone be against it? Uh, good morning, Kerry. Good morning to your listeners. Um, we find it uh, really surprising and disappointing that the decision was made without any prior consultation with us. We could see the value of uh, clearly uh, vaccinating those who are vulnerable, those who have underlying uh, uh, medical conditions uh, ahead of the rest of the population. We certainly didn't uh, make any representations to get ourselves bumped up the the vaccination list uh, ahead of any of those groups. But to to have a decision like this uh, made, it's extraordinarily disrespectful, we feel, to teachers who are working extraordinarily hard, who have shown great flexibility and and patience in keeping education uh, up and running, who are looking uh, from the 12th of April at returning to uh, fully um, fully open schools, all the crowded classrooms, crowded corridors, and to be told that they're actually in the same uh, the same category as those who are working at home. Um, as, as so many uh, of, with, of with the res- population, with respect, though, it makes very little sense from our perspective. With respect, and though, Martin, for a, a decision like this to be made with no prior consultation has made us very angry, and we're getting a, a lot okay, of. But uh, NIAC of, have said that uh, no profession. From our members. The data, what the data is bearing out, that is that no profession is at significantly more risk based on their job than any other, and the single biggest risk factor for people is their age. So in this way, teachers over the age of 50 will be vaccinated ahead of teachers over the age of 40 who will be vaccinated ahead of teachers over the age of 30, etc. And I said earlier on in the programme, and and I have to put it to you, why should a 25-year-old teacher be vaccinated against a 58-year-old Tesco worker? I mean, that person, that 58-year-old Tesco worker, is at far more risk of becoming seriously ill from COVID than the 25-year-old teacher. That wouldn't be fair, Martin, no matter what way you want to spin it. Well, I'm not trying to spin uh, anything. Uh, we had uh, many engagements with the Department of Education. These matters came up. As, as I said, we did not seek to have ourselves bumped up the, the vaccination list. But when a plan is in place, for that plan to be changed as fundamentally as, fundamentally as it has without prior consultation, as a bombshell announcement while we're in the middle of, of another meeting, we have been reassuring members, doing our best to, to uh, pass along to members what's coming to us from uh, the, the public health engagements that we've had. But it does seem strange, Martin, you think with, that uh, teachers should have been consulted. This is a public health initiative. Why should, they, why should one group of workers be specifically consulted about it? I mean, to, to be honest... If I'm looking at the text lines here this morning, people appear to me to be absolutely sick of seeing the education of their children and the opening and closing of schools being used as some kind of a bargaining chip. No one would suggest, because of the rollout of the vaccine, that food shops should ever consider being closed or that hospitals should ever consider being closed. So why are schools any different to that? It is an essential service and Time and time again, the research is showing that children, adolescents, those those specific groups are really suffering in this pandemic and it is vital for schools to remain open. So why is the opening and closing of schools remaining as some kind of a, a, of a tool here for, for leverage and bargaining? I have no idea what you mean in terms of uh, bargaining chips or levers. We have uh, cooperated and worked extraordinarily hard. Read you a headline from the Irish Times. Teachers open. warn vaccination changes undermine bid to keep schools open. That's what I mean. That's in the papers this well, morning. I didn't write that headline. No, but is that, well, not, is that not the you, case? You can talk to the people. You can talk to the people who wrote the headline. I certainly didn't write the headline. I have done nothing. And, and Are teachers' have, unions have going to threaten the, the reopening of school? To the full reopening of school? I said, I certainly have made no comments uh, along those lines. We have sought an urgent engagement with the department about a significant change, which does impact on our members. It is the stated uh, priority of government that education be opened fully and in a a safe way and in a way which commands the the respect and confidence of the entire school community. 